Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to turn the category links on your blog post into clickable buttons using just a little bit of custom CSS. As always, the codes I'm about to share are listed in the description below, but I'd love to teach you exactly how to use these codes and how to customize them so you can make them uniquely yours. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. Here we are inside Squarespace looking at a blog post that has categories and tags. Now we're going to add custom code to style those so that they look like unique buttons. Here in our website, I'm going to navigate to Pages on the left-hand side of the screen, and then I'll select Website Tools and then Custom CSS. This is where we're going to add the codes that you'll find underneath this video. Let's add these one at a time so you can see what they change and how to customize them. I'll start with this very first code right here that's going to change these category links. Pasting this code in my custom CSS, you're going to see that they now have a background and they have some padding, but I want you to notice something very important. Did you notice that I've said font weight bold and the font is not bold? That's because any font and text decoration properties that we change need to have exclamation point important at the end of them. That's the only way to get the browser to recognize our creative code. So let's say you want to change the font size. Let's do this in a new line. We'll say font size 20px and we'll add a semicolon and nothing has happened. We need to say exclamation point important to get that font size to change. I wanted to make sure I address that because there's so many font and text properties that you can use to customize these links in Squarespace. And it's important for you to know you need to label them important to make sure that they work. Now, after those font properties, we gave it a background color and we added some padding. If we reduce this padding to zero, you'll notice that the edge of this color goes right up against the edge of the text and that doesn't look like a clickable button to me. So I like to say at least 5px, maybe even 10 or 20 if you want these to be really big buttons. The padding is super customizable. And above that, we have the background color where I've used a hex color code. But you can use a web safe color name if you'd like to, whatever you're comfortable with for the design of your own unique website. Now let's go ahead and update these tags at the bottom of the screen. I'm going to copy this code here, which you'll find in the description below. I'll paste it in a new line, and now our tags have been customized. Now just like we saw for the categories, we need to add exclamation point important after any font or text property. For changing the font family, I need to add it, and to change the color of the text, I need to add exclamation point important. Now let's go ahead and change the font size here as well to make these larger. We'll say exclamation point important. And there we go. Now they're a little bit more visible than they were before. Just like you saw in the other code, we can adjust the padding to be a different size if you want the buttons to appear larger. You can change the background color to something different as well. And just like the background color, you can change the font color as well. Super customizable. You can add any creative codes that you want here to customize the way that these links appear. I like to add a border radius sometimes to curve in the corners. Let's say border radius to REM. Now our tags have that pill button shape, which can definitely enhance a website if you're using more curved elements. Now I've got two more codes that I'd like to share with you. This code right here is going to hide these little icons between the tags and categories. Pasting this code in a new line in our custom CSS, you'll see that those icons have gone away. Now we could say display none. And if we say display none, that's going to move the links right next to each other, which can make it difficult to see that they're individual clickable items. So I like to say opacity zero, which makes that character transparent. Now, last but not least, I love having a good hover effect for anything clickable on a website. So this right here is a hover effect code. I'm going to paste it in a new line here inside our custom CSS. And now when I hover over the tags or the categories, you'll notice that the background color and the text color has changed. Now, it's hard to see the text color has changed down here. So let's go ahead and change this to yellow. And now we can see the text color has changed and the background color as well. These are just as customizable as the entire rest of the code, so feel free to get creative here. And whatever style you've decided to go with, select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that we just used to make this magic happen in Squarespace. Make sure that you customize the important parts of this code, like the colors, so that it matches the unique style of your own Squarespace website. If you'd like more information about all the cool things you can do to customize Squarespace, check out the related content linked below. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
When Squarespace design options are starting to limit your creative ideas, there's a pro secret that you should know. Creating your own code for Squarespace is not that complicated. I taught myself how to do it, and now I've taught thousands of Squarespacers around the world how to do it too. If you want to learn basic CSS for Squarespace in less than 20 minutes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn.